Word of Unfailing Love Daniel Chapter 1 In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into, into his hand with some of the vessels of the house of God. And he brought them to the land of Shinar, to the house of his God, and placed the vessels in the treasury of his God. Then the king commanded Ashpenaz, his chief eunuch, to bring some of the people of Israel, both of the royal family and of the nobility, youths without blemish, of good appearance and skillful in all wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding, learning, and competent to stand in the king's palace and to teach them the literature and language of the Chaldeans. The king assigned them a daily portion of the food that the king ate and of the wine that he drank. They were to be educated for three years and at the end of that time they were to stand before the king. Among these were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah of the tribe of Judah. And the chief of the eunuchs gave them names. Daniel he called Belteshazzar, Hananiah he called Shadrach, Mishael he called Meshach, and Azariah he called Abednego. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food or with the wine that he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs and the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel I fear my lord the king who assigned your food and your drink for why should he see that you are in worse condition than the youths who are of your own age so you would endanger my head with the king then Daniel said to the steward whom the chief of the eunuchs had assigned over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, test your servants for ten days. Let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance and the appearance of the youths 
who eat the king's food be observed by you and deal with your servants according to what you see so he listened to them in this matter and tested them for 10 days at the end of 10 days it was seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the king's food so the steward took away their food and the wine they were to drink and gave them vegetables as for these four youths god gave them learning and skill in all literature and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams at the end of the time when the king had commanded that they should be brought in the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before nebuchadnezzar the chief of the eunuch the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before nebuchadnezzar and the king spoke with them and among all of them none was found like daniel hananiah mishael and azariah therefore they stood before the king and in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king inquired of them he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and enchanters that were in all his kingdom and daniel was there until the first year of king cyrus daniel chapter 2 in the second year of the reign of nebuchadnezzar nebuchadnezzar had dreams his spirit was troubled and his sleep left him then the king commanded that the magicians the enchanters the sorcerers and the chaldeans be summoned to tell the king his dreams so they came in and stood before the king and the king said to them i had a dream and my spirit is troubled to know the dream then the chaldeans said to the king in aramaic o king live forever tell your servants the dream and we will show the interpretation the king answered and said to the chaldeans the word from me is form if you do not make known to me the dream and its interpretation you shall be torn limb from limb and your houses shall be laid in ruins but if you show the dream and its interpretation you shall receive from me gifts and rewards and great honor therefore show me the dream and its interpretation they answered a second time and said let the king tell his servants the dream and we will show its interpretation the king answered and said i know with certainty that you are trying to gain time because you see that the word from me is form if you do not make the dream known to me there is but one sentence for you you have agreed to speak lying and corrupt words before me till the times change therefore tell me the dream and i shall know that you can show me its interpretation the chaldeans answered the king and said there is not a man on earth who can meet the king's demand for no great and powerful king has asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or chaldean the thing that the king asks is difficult and no one can show it to the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with the flesh 
Because of this, the king was angry and very furious and commanded that all the wise men of Babylon be destroyed. So the decree went out and the wise men were about to be killed and they sought Daniel and his companions to kill them. Then Daniel replied with prudence and discretion to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, who had gone out to kill the wise men of Babylon. He declared to Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree of the king so urgent? Then Ariok made the matter known to Daniel, and Daniel went in and requested the king to appoint him a time that he might show the interpretation to the king. Then Daniel went to his house and made the matter known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, and told them to seek mercy from the God of heaven concerning, his, concerning this mystery, so that Daniel and his companions might not be destroyed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever to whom belong wisdom and might. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him. To you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and might, and have now made known to me what we asked of you, for you have made known to us the king's matter. Therefore Daniel went in to Ariok, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus to him, Do not destroy the wise men of Babylon, bring me in. before the king and I will show the king the interpretation. Then Ariok brought in Daniel before the king in haste and thus and said thus to him, I have found among the exiles from Judah a man who will make known to the king the interpretation. The king declared to Daniel whose name was Belteshazzar. Are you able to make known to me the dream that I have seen and its interpretation? Daniel answered the king and said, No wise men, enchanters, magicians, or astrologers can show to the king the mystery that the king has asked. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the later days. Your dream and the visions of your head as you lay in bed are these. To you, O king, as you lay in bed came thoughts of what would be after this, and he who reveals mysteries made known to you what is to be. But as for me, this mystery has been revealed to me, not because of any wisdom that I have more than all the living, but in order that the interpretation may be made known to the king and that you may know the thoughts of your mind. You saw, O king, and behold, a great image, this image, mighty and of exceeding brightness, stood before you, and its appearance was frightening. The head of this image was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its middle and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. As you looked, a stone was cut out by no human hand and it struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold all together were broken in pieces and 
became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found but the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this was the dream now we will tell the king its interpretation you o king the king of kings to whom the god of heaven has given the kingdom the power and the might and the glory and into whose hand he has given wherever they dwell the children of man the beasts of the field and the birds of the heavens making you rule over them all you are the head of gold another kingdom inferior to you shall arise after you and yet a third kingdom of bronze which shall rule over all the earth and there shall be a fourth kingdom strong as iron because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things and like iron that crushes it shall break and crush all this and as you saw the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron it shall be a divided kingdom but some of the palmness of iron shall be in it just as you saw iron mixed with the soft clay and as the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle as you saw the iron mixed with soft clay so they will mix with one another in marriage but they will not hold together just as iron does not mix with clay and in the days of those kings the god of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed nor shall the kingdom be left to another people it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and bring them to an end and it shall stand forever just as you saw that a stone was cut from a mountain by no human hand and that it broke in pieces the iron the bronze the clay the silver and the gold a great god has made known to the king what shall be after this the dream is certain and its interpretation sure then king nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and paid homage to daniel and commanded that an offering and incense be offered up to him the king answered and said to daniel truly your god is god of gods and lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries why you have been able to reveal this mystery then the king gave daniel high honors and many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of babylon and chief prefect over all the wise men of babylon daniel made a request of the king and he appointed shadrak meshak and abednego over the affairs of the province of babylon but daniel remained at the king's court daniel chapter 3 king nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold whose height was 60 cubits and its breadth 6 cubits he set it up on the plain of dura in the province of babylon then king nebuchadnezzar sent to gather the satraps the prefects and the governors the counselors the treasurers the justices the magistrates and all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image that king nebuchadnezzar had set up then the satraps the prefects and the governors the counselors the treasurers the justices the magistrates and all the officials of the provinces gathered for the dedication of the image that king nebuchadnezzar had set up and they stood before the image that nebuchadnezzar had set up and the herald proclaimed aloud you are commanded o peoples 
nations and languages that when you hear the sound of the horn pipe lyre trigon harp bagpipe and every kind of music you are to fall down and worship the golden image that king nebuchadnezzar has set up and whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be cast into a burning fiery furnace therefore as soon as all the people heard the sound of the horn pipe lyre trigon harp bagpipe and every kind of music all the peoples nations and languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that king nebuchadnezzar had set up therefore at that time therefore at the time certain kaldians came forward and maliciously accused the jews they declared to king nebuchadnezzar o king live forever you o king have made a decree that every man who hears the sound of the horn pipe lyre trigon harp bagpipe and every kind of music shall fall down and worship the golden image and whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into a burning fiery furnace burning fiery furnace there are certain jews whom you have appointed over the affairs of the province of babylon shadrach meshach and abednego these men o king pay no attention to you they do not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up the nebuchadnezzar in furious rage commanded that shadrach meshach and abednego be brought be brought so they brought these men before the king nebuchadnezzar answered and said to them is it true o shadrach meshach and abednego that you do not serve my gods or worship the golden image that i have set up now if you are ready when you hear the sound of the horn pipe lyre trigon harp bagpipe and every kind of music to fall down and worship the image that i have made well and good but if you do not worship you shall immediately be cast into a burning fiery furnace and who is the god who will deliver you out of my hands shadrach meshach and abednego answered and said to the king o nebuchadnezzar we have no need to answer you in this matter if this be so our god whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of your hand o king but if not be it known to you o king that we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up then nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury and the expression of his face was changed against shadrach meshach and abednego he ordered the furnace heated seven times more than it was usually heated and he ordered some of the mighty men of his army to bind shadrach meshach and abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace then these men were bound in their cloaks their tunics their hats and their other garments and they were thrown into the burning fiery furnace because the king's order was urgent and the furnace overheated the flame of the fire killed those men who took up shadrach meshach and abednego and these three men shadrach meshach and abednego fell bound into the burning fiery furnace then king nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste he declared to his counselors did we not cast three men bound into the fire 
They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and said, But I see four men unbound walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the door of the burning fiery furnace. He declared, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire, and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not had any power over the bodies of those men. The hair of their heads was not signed. Their clocks were not harmed, and no smell of fire had come upon them. Nebuchadnezzar answered and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him, and set aside the king's command, and yielded up their bodies, rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree. Therefore, I make a decree. Any people, nation, or language that speaks anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be torn limb from limb, and their houses laid in ruins. For there is no other god who is able to rescue in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Daniel chapter 4 King Nebuchadnezzar to all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied to you. It has seemed good to me to show the signs and wonders that the Most High God has done for me. How great are His signs, how mighty His wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and His dominion endures from generation to generation. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was at ease in my house and prospering in my palace. I saw a dream that made me afraid. As I lay in bed, the fancies and the visions of my head alarmed me. So I made a decree that all the wise men of Babylon should be brought before me, that they might make known to me the interpretation of the dream. Then the magicians, the enchanters, the Chaldeans, and the astrologers came in, and I told them the dream, but they could not make known to me its interpretation. At last, Daniel came in before me, he who was named Belteshazzar after the name of my God and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And I told him the dream, saying, O Belteshazzar, chief of the musicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods is in you and that no mystery is too difficult for you. Tell me the visions of my dream that I saw and their interpretation. The visions of my head as I lay in bed were these. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth and its height was great. The tree grew and became strong and its top reached to heaven and it was visible to the end of the whole earth. Its leaves were beautiful and its fruit abundant and in it was food for all. The, beast, the beasts of the field found shade under it and the birds of the heavens lived in its branches and all flesh was fed from it. I saw in the visions of my head as I lay in bed and behold a watcher, a holy one, came down from heaven. He proclaimed aloud and said thus, chop down the tree and lop off its branches, strip off its leaves and scatter its fruit. Let the bees flee from under it and the birds from its branches, but leave the 
stump of its roots in the earth bound with a band of iron and bronze amid the tender grass of the field let him be wet with the dew of heaven let this portion be with the beasts let his portion be with the beasts in the grass of the earth let his mind be changed from a man's and let a beast's mind be given to him and let seven periods of time pass over him the sentence is by the decree of the watchers the decision by the word of the holy ones to the end that the living may know that the most high rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will and sets over it the lowliest of men this dream i king nebuchadnezzar saw and you o belteshazzar tell me the interpretation because all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known to me the interpretation but you are able for the spirit of the holy gods is in you then daniel whose name was belteshazzar was dismayed for a while and his thoughts alarmed him the king answered and said belteshazzar let not the dream or the interpretation alarm you belteshazzar answered and said my lord may the dream be for those who hate you and its interpretation for your enemies the tree you saw which grew and became strong so that its top reached to heaven and it was visible to the end of the whole earth whose leaves were beautiful and its fruit abundant and in which was food for all under which beasts of the field found shade and in whose branches the birds of the heavens lived it is you o king who have grown and become strong your greatness has grown and reaches to heaven and your dominion to the ends of the earth and because the king saw a watcher a holy one coming down from heaven and saying chop down the tree and destroy it but leave the stump of its roots in the earth bound with a band of iron and bronze in the tender grass of the field and let him be wet with the dew of the heaven and let his portion be with the beasts of the field till seven periods of time pass over him this is the interpretation o king it is the decree of the most high which has come upon my lord the king that you shall be driven from among men and your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field you shall be made to eat grass like an ox and you shall be wet with the dew of heaven and seven periods of time shall pass over you till you know that the most high rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will and as it was commanded to leave the stump of the roots of the tree your kingdom shall be confirmed for you from the time that you know that heaven rules therefore o king let my counsel be acceptable to you break off your sins by practicing righteousness and your iniquities by showing mercy to the oppressed that there be that there may perhaps be a lengthening of your prosperity all this came upon king nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of babylon and the king answered and said is not this great babylon which i have built by my mighty power as a royal residence and for the glory of my majesty while the words were still in the king's mouth there fell a voice from heaven o king nebuchadnezzar to you it is spoken the kingdom has departed from you 
and you shall be driven from among men and your dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field and you shall be made to eat grass like an ox and seven periods of time shall pass over you until you know that the most high rules the kingdom of men and gives it to whom he will immediately the word was fulfilled against nebuchadnezzar he was driven from among men and ate grass like an ox and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hair grew as long as eagle's feathers and his nails were like birds claws at the end of the days i nebuchadnezzar lifted my eyes to heaven and my reason turned to me and i blessed the most high and praised and honored him who lives forever for his dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom endures from generation to generation all the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing and he does not and he does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and he does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say to him what have you done and the same time my reason returned to me and for the glory of my kingdom my majesty and splendor returned to me my counselors and my lord sought me and i was established in my kingdom and still more greatness was added to me now i nebuchadnezzar praise and extol and honor the king of heaven for all his works are right and his ways are just and those who walk in pride he is able to humble daniel chapter 5 king belshazzar made a great feast for a thousand of his lords and drank wine in front of the thousand Belshazzar when he tasted the wine commanded that the vessels of gold and of silver that Nebuchadnezzar his father had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem be brought that the king and his lords his wives and his concubines might drink from them then they brought in the golden vessels that had been taken out of the temple the house of god in jerusalem and the king and his lords his wives and his concubines drank from them they drank wine and praised the gods of gold and silver bronze iron wood and stone immediately the fingers of a human hand appeared and wrote on the plaster of the wall of the king's palace opposite the lamp stand opposite the lamp stand and the king saw the hand as it wrote then the king's color changed and his thoughts alarmed him his limbs gave way and his knees knocked together the king called loudly to bring in the enchanters the chaldeans and the astrologers the king declared to the wise men of babylon whoever reads this writing and shows me its interpretation shall be clothed with purple and have a chain of gold round his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom then all the king's wise men came in but they could not read the writing or make known to the king the interpretation then king belshazzar was greatly alarmed and his color changed and his lords were perplexed then queen because of the words of the king and his lords came into the banqueting hall 
and the queen declared o king live forever let not your thoughts alarm you or your color change there is a man in your kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods in the days of your father light and understanding and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods were found in him and king nebuchadnezzar your father your father the king made him chief of the magicians enchanters chaldeans and astrologers because an excellent spirit knowledge and understanding to interpret dreams explain riddles and solve problems were found in this daniel whom the king named belteshazzar now let daniel be called and he will show the interpretation then daniel was brought in before the king the king answered and said to daniel you are the daniel one of the exiles of judah whom the king my father brought from judah i have heard of you that the spirit of the gods is in you and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom are found in you now the wise men the enchanters have been brought in before me to read this writing and make known to me its interpretation but they could not show the interpretation of the matter but i have heard that you can give interpretations and solve problems now if you can read the writing and make known to me its interpretation you shall be clothed with purple and have a chain of gold round your neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom then daniel answered and said before the king let your gifts be for yourself and give your rewards to another nevertheless i will read the writing to the king and make known to him the interpretation o king the most high god gave nebuchadnezzar your father kingship kingship and greatness and glory and majesty and because of the greatness that he gave him all peoples nations and languages trembled and feared before him whom he would he killed and whom he would he kept alive whom he would he raised up and whom he would he humbled but when his heart was lifted up and his spirit was hardened so that he dwelt so that he dealt proudly he was brought down from his kingly throne and his glory was taken from him he was driven from among the children of mankind and his mind was made like that of a beast and his dwelling was with the wild donkeys he was fed grass like an ox and his body was wet with the dew of heaven until he knew that the most high god rules the kingdom of mankind and sets over it whom he will and you his son belshazzar have not humbled your heart though you knew all this but you have lifted up yourselves against the lord of heaven and the vessels of his house have been brought in before you and you and your lords your wives and your concubines have drunk wine from them and you have praised the gods of silver and gold of bronze iron wood and stone which do not see or hear or know but the god in whose hand is your breath and whose are all your ways you have not honored then from his presence the hand was sent and this writing was inscribed and this is the writing that the and this is the writing that was inscribed mene mene tekel and parsin this is the interpretation of the matter mene 
God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Take care, you have been weighed in the balances and found wanting. Whereas your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Then Belteshazzar gave the command and Daniel was clothed with purple. A chain of gold was put round his neck and a proclamation was made about him and that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. That very night Belteshazzar the Chaldean king was killed and Darius the Mede received the kingdom being about 62 years old.